Hello everyone, this is my friend Vasya. She's from Greece and she studied, did her bachelor's in civil engineering. Yes. And now you're doing integrated building systems. Yeah, it's a multidisciplinary master in ADH. Okay, yeah. cool. So can you tell us a little bit about what the program is about? Well, the program is about smart technologies and uh, uh, smart buildings basically so we try to integrate uh, smart systems and all these under um, a sus the sustainability spectrum so okay so saying. is that like um, integrating solar panels onto someone's roof? Uh, it can be a, an option yeah okay. but basically it's not strictly uh, done on the building level it can be on the urban level and the district level as well so would another example be like how some buildings have like smart uh, energy um, like tabs so you can like keep yeah. track of how much energy you use it's not that it's something really like solid it's, it's this technology and it will be like that it's like uh, if you start all over from the beginning the design i mean the energy design you can for example use the orientation of the building mm -hmm. and uh, change your design according to uh, the weather mm -hmm. uh, at the climate the microclimate of the region or Okay. What sort of disciplines can lead into this field? Um, is it just civil engineering? No. Or? Actually, uh, the master is supposed to be multidisciplinary. So, um, if you have an architecture uh, background or the civil engineering, all the engineers have access to this field because energy is actually a multidisciplinary theme anyways. Mm -hmm. so. so, could you give me like the different branches of civil engineering for someone that wouldn't know so, um there are four different sectors in civil engineering there are plenty but mostly for we, we can separate it in four different sectors so it's uh the building let's say the structural sector which uh, focuses on how uh, building structures are going to be built. So the first one was the buildings, the the structures, building in general. Structures. It might be a bridge, it might be a high, high rise building, it might be almost everything. It has to do mostly with uh, steel and concrete. <laughs> okay, so steel and concrete. Uh, or, or, uh, as well. Yeah, it's a combination of all these structures. And then the second one is hydraulics, you said? Yes, the hydraulic sectors where you can basically they will, they take care of the dumps and okay. <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> and generally create the, how the pipes of a hydraulic system will uh, be um, distributed within a CD or something like this. There's also another one, the geotechnical uh, sector where they will focus on uh, ground properties and uh, how it will respond. Uh, um, when a structure is going to be built, so they will analyze all the mm -hmm. ground level mm -hmm. also. And then the last one is pipe. No, but there's one that takes care about uh, how a road will be built, um, like how transportation will be distributed within the city and how it will occupy roads and stuff. So we have to reiterate all four of them. Mm -hmm. It's the building structures, all of the structures, hydraulics, which includes the sewage, um, geotechnical. geotechnical, and then this last one is city planning, traffic planning. Yes. Okay. Why did you decide to go into civil engineering? Mm. <laughs> That's a good question. I had no clue yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on. No, I mean, since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be an architect for a reason that I don't know. I still want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so my first preference was on civil engineering. I don't know. I mean, it was really, really related with uh, the architecture, but I always was fond of maths, so I wanted somehow to combine those two fields. Is there a lot of math in civil engineering? Uh, in the first place, in, I, I mean, you definitely have to have a good background in maths. Uh, afterwards, you won't need to use uh, all this stuff that you have already learned, but you're going to use a lot of software, so generally you need to know how this software works and if it works properly, 
so it's not just like getting some results uh, yeah, yeah you yeah. need to be sure that those results are fine and you need physics for that and is there any good ad advice that someone has ever given you you never you should never pretend that you know something that you don't for sure. okay i mean and this because this does not work in this field you should be 100 percent sure about what you're doing otherwise you might be I don't know, locked in the prison or something. But here, bridges will fall down. Yes, if exactly. you. <laughs> you should be one. I mean, you should always be one hundred percent sure of what you're doing. Do you have any advice for any younger girls that want to pursue this field? My only advice would be not to do something just because of um, money that will uh, give you back or something like this, because it might end up being really miserable. But if you really think that you're gonna like something, just go for it. Okay, Yeah. awesome. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. If you have any more questions for Vasya, you can leave them below and I will make sure she answers them. <laughs> and uh, if you like this video, then please like it. And if you wanna see more from amazing women in STEM, then please subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>